Hi, House Beautiful, I'm Melanie Lissac and welcome to my home. So welcome to my sitting room. This room probably has the most heritage feel in this period house. This is the original fireplace with beautiful marble surround. I wanted to keep that real period look. The wall colour is my paint and paper library, the colour Stone V. I also added the moulding detail as well, just to keep that, that heritage theme. I love to dress this mantelpiece, especially at Christmas. And at the moment, I've got some beautiful spring flowers and just some ornaments and trinkets that are really personal to me at home. So one of the things I like doing recently is just adding um, bows to everything. I know they've been a huge trend in interiors, but they just work so well. So I've just added some little bows to the candles just to elevate the look of the mantelpiece. So one of my favourite things in the room is this David Hunt lighting pendant. When I saw it, I knew it would be perfect for the space. It's got that perfect mix of modern meets heritage look, so it just works really well. And then I put these chairs in here, they're by Soho Home. I absolutely love the way that they curve and the colour works really well with the surround of the fireplace. And then I just mixed it up a bit with this striped cushion because I really like the pattern clash. And this little table I got from Habitat. I like to mix high street with high end with vintage pieces. On it I've got a David Hunt lighting lamp base and this shade is by Birdie Fortescue. So this built-in shelving is actually an IKEA hack. It's two Billy bookcases put together and I added loads of moulding and trim. And this is a beadboard wallpaper, really inexpensive. I painted the whole thing the same colour as the room. So you get that really kind of high-end look, but on a real budget. So these are plug-in wall lights by Spark and Bell. I just added them to the middle to just give a bit of lighting, a bit of interest. I just thought I loved the shape. I thought they just worked really well. So I actually love white ceramics. I collect them all the time. One of my favourite things is to get ceramics from female artists. So this is one of my favourite pieces that I bought recently. It's by Patina Ceramica. I use this as a fruit bowl. I use it a lot at Christmas to put decorative items in. Um, you can use it for so many different things, but it just looks beautiful here on the shelf at other times of the year. So this is our TV room. This is the room where we spend most of our time. The house is located in the heart of Epping Forest, so the house is surrounded by trees, and I really wanted to reflect that in the decor of this room. So this mural is by Little Green. It was new last year. It's called Bird and Bluebell. I absolutely love the design. The trees reflected all the outside of the house. I absolutely love the purple bluebells with the birds just floating all around the room. The room was painted in a block colour before and I just didn't feel that it, you know, really complemented what you could see from outside with the arched doors and the large window. So this mural was just such a perfect choice for this space. So this sideboard is actually another IKEA hack. It's IKEA kitchen cabinets painted and then the top is a piece of MDF that's been wrapped in a vinyl to look like marble. And I didn't want to interrupt this beautiful wall mural with a black TV. So I invested in the Samsung frame, which means when it's turned off, it gives this beautiful illusion of a framed picture. I can change it whenever I want, whenever I want to have something new. There's actually no ceiling lights in here, which is absolutely fine because I filled the room with lamps, which gives a lovely glow in the evening. And I've made sure that they're all in a neutral colorway. So they're just really soft against the green background. So these arch doors really are the key feature in the room. When we came to see the house, they were already here. We absolutely loved them. They were just beautiful. They lead out into a balcony, which is perfect for the summer. And I paired the light color of the doors with this beautiful neutral sofa from Hills Furniture. I absolutely love the curved back and I've used a variety of sized cushions there for just visual appeal. For this room, I had this blind made in this Sanderson fabric. It's a stripe, but if you look closely, it's actually got a scallop detailing on the edges of the stripe, which just makes it a little bit more interesting. So here we are in my son's bedroom. I've just recently updated this because as he's got older, he wants something a bit more grown up. So I've tried to still be really creative. I've used leftover paint tester pots to create a pin board. I've added some paneling at the bottom here and a wall mural at the top. That's by Rebel Walls. 
And then over here, if we come to the fireplace, I painted it in this amazing color, which is called Loving Orange by Yes Colors. And then all above it here is weather details that I made myself on a Cricut machine. So my son is autistic and he's a real sensory seeker and he loves color and he loves pattern and he loves being thrown around and all these things that sensory seekers love. So I wasn't afraid to just mix up colors and patterns. We've got this really vibrant room that he loves. So the furniture in his room I've actually upcycled. This wardrobe was just a plain wooden wardrobe. I painted it and added this bobbin trim. And I've done the same for his window seat. I got that for £10 on eBay and I added bobbin trim, painted it and then I also added a fabric top as well. So the pendant light in my son's bedroom is by Eno Studio. It's called Favourite Things. I really loved it because it just grows with him. You can take out toys, put new things in and I love to do a little seasonal display with fake snow at Christmas and deer and then Easter eggs at Easter. So this is our family bathroom. I wanted to make it a really cheery and inviting space. So I used this lovely blue wallpaper at Zuri by Harlequin. And then I've used yellow in the blinds as well. I've also added some framed artwork in here just to make it cohesive with the rest of the house. So then we've got a blue roll top bath in here, which is really luxurious and it's light. So it's easy to transport up the stairs. And I've paired that with this tongue and groove paneling and these traditional checkerboard floor tiles. So in the corner here, I put a kitchen dresser. I painted it in India yellow by Farrer and Ball. I just thought it added a bit more character than your usual bathroom storage. And I like the open shelving to display different objects. Here I've made my own cafe curtains. The fabric is by Linwood. It's from their small prints collection. I just love the way that it gives privacy, but still lets in the light from the top part of the sash window. So this is our main bedroom. This bedroom was a real lockdown project. During lockdown, I decided to panel all the walls and paint it this gorgeous neutral color, which was flawless by Crown Paints. This has been a really difficult room to decorate. I used a block color before and that didn't work. So then I used a busy wallpaper pattern to add a lot of interest, but we just found it was too much. In the end, wall paneling in a light neutral has made it a really soothing space. Instead, I brought color and pattern in on the bed. This beautiful bedspread is by Heels Furniture and then I made this bolster cushion. This fabric is by William Clark. It's Irish linen. It's called Wild Grasses. I just love the florals on the front. Um, and then these large cushions here are fantastic and they're by Romo. This wavy mirror is one of my favourite things in this room. I love the aubergine colourway. It's by David Hunlighting, who have recently branched out into mirrors. And then the side tables are really compact by Christina Dam Studio. I love how you can contain books, but it's really slimline. In terms of the decor for this room, I kept it really minimal because the panelling does all the talking, but I picked up this pretty wall hung vase while I was in Copenhagen, and it just looks great in the corner of this room. Thank you so much for joining me, taking a tour around my home. I really hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration and thank you for watching.